Okay. Hello everybody, my name is Phil. It is once again Tuesday. It is once again vaguely noonish. Let's do another one of these Tuesday at noon videos. This past week has been very fun for me. Um, I finally, finally got around to making that uh, drill press cart video. Uh, that finally happened. Um, I'm currently in the middle of editing that one and it is a pain in the backside to sort out. I noticed that I'm not doing so much actual drum stuff on this, in this series of videos anymore. So this week um, I thought I would share my process, my process I guess, a little bit of how I change a set of snare wires. Let's roll the tape. Okay, I got a candle here. Because you got to set the mood you see when you do these things. So I've decided to opt for some uh, a set of Pure Sound Super 30s, which, you know, I like. I'm a big fan of their wires. These are fantastic. When I'm changing wires, I tend to start with the butt end. This butt in particular is kind of snazzy in that whoop, it falls off and you drop the parts. Nah, it actually comes apart. Hooray. There's different schools of thought whether or not it should go over and then through or through here and then out the back end. I like through here and out the back end. I think it's tidy. Put your shiz back together after you take it all the way apart. Yeah, there's a gap here. You want to try and get the gap between the end plate and the actual shell to be even. So I actually do want this to be over a bit more, right? And when you're putting the butt end in, you might want to make it even slightly further towards the butt end if the butt end isn't adjustable. Some some snares have an adjustable butt because, you know, <laughs> some of us have adjustable butts. All right, so I got it back on and now it's a little bit too close this way, which is, you know, fun game I like to play. Yeah, so now we go to the other side and you'll notice this isn't a, a Yamaha Nuvo throw. This is a Thai side latch, which I've mentioned a couple times before is one of my all-time favorite throws. Uh, it's based on the old Aot drumsmith. I kind of Try to put the, the adjustment mechanism in the middle. I use um, 5 8 cross grain ribbon. It's so much better than that blue crap that this came with. And I find on the snare side, I tend to need a bit more than on the butt side. The reason I like this stuff, this cross grain ribbon, is that it has, it doesn't have any flex to it. You know what I mean? Like you can't you know, it holds its shape very well, it's very strong. But, the candle is here. I did this in another video, one of my, a while ago, but um, what I use the candle for is just to pass the end of the cord through, because it is nylon, and when you cut it, it will fray. So uh, I just use that ribbon to kind of give the, the end of it a bit of a melt. Real quick. Oh, these two ended up a bit blackened, that's all right. Feed it straight in. So we don't no longer need the candle, but we might as well just leave it going because, you know, it's romantic. All right, Stephanie? That lets me block in the shot, isn't it? It's through the thing. Back down. I said candles are romantic. You don't agree? And then straight back through. So easy, right? You didn't see the edit where I stuffed this up. <laughs> Yeah, right? So it's just, it just goes straight through. It's just too, too easy. Stephanie doesn't think candles are romantic, guys. How lucky am I? And then you give these a bit of a tighten. Too easy. So there you have it, how to change snare wires and everything that, that's going on in my world right now. Everything that is currently going on in my... Uh, last week, 
it was a bit sad, I think. I think I made my mom nervous. Um, I think she's worried, which is nice, I suppose, but it's unnecessary. You know, I'm fine. Everybody's okay. You know, we're not dying. Anywho, uh, yeah, if you like what I'm doing, be sure to show like, subscribe, and read the doobly-doo. There's links to everything that you want to know that has to do with this weird-looking bald face guy. Um, keep an eye out for, uh, yeah, all kinds of other fun stuff that's happening. And um, have a killer week. I'll see you next Tuesday.